Hi, thanks for sticking around. It's me again. I would just love to tell you about two of our other programs. You see, we have something for everyone here. We just lots of variety. Um, if I were Tiso Lab, I would be here. Okay, so how many of you are interested in perhaps getting your certificate in an online platform, online version? Anyone just internet, internet people? Okay, yeah. And for anyone else who might become interested in this, I'll just take you through it uh, briefly. TESOL Live is exactly what it sounds like. It's completely online. And so for students who want a kind of uh, a certificate that is uh, that doesn't require you to come here to the to the NJ one, this is the one that we recommend. Uh, keep in mind that the, t the SMU program also has a, an online offline class option, and the Young Learners program has online offline too. So if you want to do half online, you can choose those programs as well. TESOL Live, it's all online. It's uh, it's online live certificate program, and it's for teachers and for new teachers, and it gives you all the tools you need. And of course, just like the other programs, we're using the most relevant and the latest research. So just because it's online doesn't mean it's it's inferior, right? It's you're still it's still informed by the same research. Uh, and it's serving TESOL, so you know it's good, right? The goal of TESOL Live, we want to make talented teachers uh, who can provide that input and output that we know it takes to encourage interaction and learning in your classrooms. So the online classes are all, they're all live. It's synchronous, meaning it's at the same time. Uh, currently we use the Google Hangouts platform. So we will drag and drop you into different groups. We'll send you off into groups where you do group work, you video and audio with each other, and you come back to the main Hangout and you talk to us. Hi, hey, come on in. Welcome, welcome. And it's 100 hours of live and self-study. So the synchronous part, that's happening at the same time. The self-study part, that would be additional videos that you watch at your own pace. So after 100 hours, you get that certificate of completion of our program. And it kind of looks like, looks like uh, it, it looks like this. These are the courses. We have one called Tasks and Techniques. This course is where you basically learn about communicative language teaching. You learn about lesson planning. How do we assess learners? Task-based learning. So in other words, what does it mean to give students a task and assess them on the completion of that task? We can do this all in the online platform. So you have TMT. Then we have M, wait, MMM, Management and Materials. So similar to the uh, methodology of SMU TESOL. How do you organize space? Like, is this a good structure for a language classroom? If this was my language classroom, I would say no. Let's not do rows. I don't like rows. What's the problem with rows? You have something on your mind, huh? Is there a problem with rows? You can't interact. That's right. You can't interact. And you're just looking at me and I'm looking at you. So, like, it's just, I'm the center of attention. You need to be concentrating on each other, interacting, because that's how language, language acquisition happens. We have to organize time, too. Right now, we're, we're going a little bit too slowly, right? So we need to watch the clock at all times, right? And uh, how to think about materials. What kind of materials are good for students? What kind of books should we use? Can we use a textbook from Korea? Should we use a textbook from somewhere else? Should we use a textbook at all? Right? These are things we want to think about. Skills and systems. So the skills, listening, speaking, reading, writing, everybody knows. 
as, as well as the, the language system, so grammatical, phonological, lexical, discoursal, and uh, functional systems. How do we teach them in the classroom? Well, that's something that you will uncover in PSOL Live. English for education. This is something I like because it's, it's basically it's about your your classroom English. What's the kind of what are the kinds of phrases we're going to be using? How do we improve our own accuracy? Even native speakers should probably pay attention to the language choices they're making, right? So I have nothing but respect for non-native speaker teachers because you had to acquire this language in a way that was deep and thorough, and in a way that I didn't have to. I was just born over there, basically. Okay. So, some instructors. <laughs> My picture disappeared, but I'm also one of these instructors. Andrew Bailey is the coordinator of this program. Uh, Stafford Lumsden is the coordinator of the Young Learners program, and, uh, the, and Play and Learn. I'm the coordinator of the SMU TESOL program, and SPEC, which I'll tell you about in a moment. And Kara Wagner teaches in almost all of the programs.